So I realized that uh, I was looking around on the internet for reviews for something called the X Keys, and I realized that there's not very many reviews. And so this review is going to be on the X Key 24. Here we go. So this is the X Key 24 and it is basically a hotkey unit that you can program to do anything that you want. So a repetitive task or something that you need to do quickly, you can program each of the 24 keys to act individually so that they can do those tasks. Now the immediate applications that make sense here are guys like programmers or maybe day traders or where you need to make quick decisions um, to get in and out of uh, programs or stocks or whatever you're doing and uh, to do that efficiently and um, you know as quick as possible and so having a, a one button to do a sequence of buttons is really helpful now you program the keys inside a program that comes with the unit and uh, you can also download it for free off of the X keys website it installs really simply and then when you plug in your unit it identifies the unit and you can begin to program now it does take a little bit of a learning curve to understand how to program the X key because in every keystroke there's a down motion and an up motion and the key has to recognize that. For example, you might think if you were to refresh a website, the command is typically control R. But in fact there are four commands that have to be executed in order for that to happen. Control down, R down, R up, control up. Now, to understand a lot of it, you don't have to necessarily um, put in all of those commands individually. What X keys does is that it you click record and you sequence the buttons as you want them and it will write out the entire script for you. It takes a lot of the legwork out of um, trying to program the X keys and it also allows most average users to do it. You just have to understand the basics of the software and honestly it took me just a couple of hours to get comfortable understanding how the keys work. Now some of the pros that I want to go over with this unit is that it's very intuitive when you start um, to use it for functions, especially if you have repetitive tasks. Um, it can eliminate multiple keystrokes um, and just kind of condense everything down. You can also use it uh, to copy text and so say you have a generic text that you want in some emails but not all. Well, a signature will put that on all emails and you'd have to delete it if you didn't want it. But say you want to go the other way and you want to add it at the bottom, kind of like a boilerplate, for some emails that you're sending out. Well, you can program all that text into one button. And so then at the end of the email, you're done, you put your regards, and then you hit the button and it puts the formatting, the type of text, the text that you want, everything in there at the bottom. So it makes it really simple. The other nice piece about it is that it's customizable and so you can do any function for any program as long as X keys can read it and I haven't found a program yet that X keys won't read and interact with. Now X keys will work as a general function and you can program up to 24 buttons for your machine or you can tell it to function certain ways when certain programs are running and so if the program on top of all your windows is Chrome and you have three keys set for enter, you know, reload a page or refresh a page and switch between tabs and then you switch to a different program you can actually program those same buttons to do different things. Now you have to be careful with this because your labels will get very cluttered and you'll have to start memorizing what buttons do what but you're not limited to just 24 keys. Now it's much easier if you uh, just use one set of programs and you know just use the X keys for you know these three are for this program and these three are for that program. Uh, but if you had to and you needed more than 24, the X keys can actually handle it and uh, figure out which program it is that you're using. Now there is a uh, color code that you can use. There are two colors. There's blue and there's red, and you can also turn them off. And so. Uh, if you wanted certain keys to show blue and certain keys to show red, you customize it inside the XKey software and then it remembers those. The unit itself is really well built and uh, I haven't had any problems with it breaking. It's fallen a couple of times as I'm cleaning the office or whatever and it's been perfectly fine. Always ran, uh, always when I plug it in, always comes up with the 
you know, the correct keys remembered. But you don't have to load the X keys program every time you turn your computer on. So when I come in in the morning and I power on the machine, X keys is ready to go right now always because you program the actual USB unit. When you save it, it saves it to the unit and it remembers which buttons are which. And so if X keys, the actual application isn't running and I hit a button, it still remembers what I asked it to do. Okay, some cons that I wanna go over. The first is price. It's priced at $135 right now on Amazon. And you have to really justify the cost for this unit. It's very well built, it's very in intuitive, and if you have a specific application where you're making money, or you're doing a job, and it will increase your productivity, $135 usually isn't a huge leap. But if you're a guy who doesn't use it for a specific task, and instead just wants to simplify some of the keystrokes like myself, $135 can be a little bit steep. And so you have to figure out whether or not it's really gonna be worth the cost. I will mention this, the lights are red and blue, but when I turn my computer on, it doesn't load the color scheme right away. Instead, I do have to turn on the X keys color program in order for the correct colors to show up. By default, it just shows blue. Other than that, I don't find anything really wrong with it. I really recommend the product. If you wanna simplify your process, it is a little bit pricey, but for those of us who like to quickly jump around or maybe switch tabs or something like that, it's a very practical use and it's nice to have customizable buttons on your desktop that takes literally one second to do. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, more stuff is on its way. I also have a video blog uh, that I try and do a couple a week and so stay tuned for that uh, and let me know what you guys think. Take it easy.